good. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。Got a room for a party of four? Uh, sir, did anyone refer you to us? Nah, we were just passing by. Thought the place looked good. I'm sorry, but this bar is members only. You need a referral from one of our existing customers, or from a hostess. Really? This place doesn't look anywhere near fancy enough for all that. Regardless of how it looks, you still need a membership to enter. So I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Wait, can you just sign us up for the membership? I'm not able to do that either. And may I ask, are you with the police? What makes you think that? I've been in this job long enough to know a cop when I see one. Is our establishment under suspicion of anything? What, like hiring illegal immigrants? Was that what you're worried about? Rest easy. We're not with police or immigration. I hope not. But even if you aren't, rules are still rules. I can't make any exceptions. I really must ask you to leave. Wait, didn't you say a hostess can give a referral? That's correct. Do you know someone who works here? No, but how about this? I will work as a hostess here starting right now. And I'll give my referral to these three. How about that? Huh? Huh? Mm. We're a Chinese pub, so our hostesses must either be Chinese or of Chinese descent. Well, I was born in Japan, but my parents are Chinese. So rest assured, I am very much of Chinese descent, my new fellow co-worker. You sure that's true? Um, isn't this decision a bit above your pay grade? And you're accusing me of lying? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. 
I hope not. Now let me talk to the manager, please. I need to tell him how you turned away a fantastic hostess, and even worse, dismissed her heritage. Wait, I, I get it, okay? Let me go talk to the manager. You still have to pass an interview to be hired on a trial basis. Of course. I'm ready when the manager is. Are you sure about going in alone like this? It's the enemy's home base. You never know what could happen. You guys have already been risking your lives. I'm ready to join the club. And don't worry, I can take care of myself. All right. But be careful, will ya? I will. I've dealt with a lot of trouble in my years of hostessing. I'll call you once I'm in. Is this really gonna work? Well, let's have a little faith in Sachan. Hey. Okay. Hey.
killing me. Anybody here? Hey, excuse me. You need something? Uh, I heard you could fix bats. Do you, uh, work here? Yep. I'm Sumire Sawa. I run this place, if you can believe that. You're the manager? What? Having second thoughts because the manager's a girl? No, not really. So, this what you want fixed? This bat? Looks to me like it's been sitting around for a while. It's pretty rusty, too. Yeah, it's something I picked up. Still, it's special to me. <gasps> Hold on. This bat. Is this from the Hero series? Huh? The hell's that? It's a really, really rare bat that was only in production for a limited time thanks to the manufacturer going bankrupt. I can't believe I've seen one with my own eyes! Oh, wow, 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 wow! Please let me fix it. Just this once. I promise I'll make it special. I'll even do it for free. Whoa, really? Yeah. Fixing up something as rare as this would be a dream come true. I'd be honored. <laughs> hey, thanks. Great. I'll get to work right away. <laughs> Holy shit, let's do this! Oh. Just a touch. That's what I'm talking about. Phew. That's some energy you got. I used to be a bit of a punk, so I tend to get pretty riled up about stuff. Anyway, here. Thanks for waiting. Yo! That thing looks like it's brand new! <laughs> and that's not all. To make sure it won't get all dinged up in the future, I added a special coating. That little beauty should be harder and more durable than ever. Thanks. I'll put it to good use. You sure are talented, you know that? <laughs> well, I definitely know how to fix things. Management's a different story, though. Yeah, now that you mention it... This place is pretty empty. I'm guessing you haven't been getting much business. Much? Try none at all. Nowadays, it's normal to toss clothes and things out if they're ripped or broken or whatever. People don't really get things fixed anymore. And as much as my dad tried to keep this place going, he wasn't very good at it. He wasn't good with money and got in a lot of debt. Had to sell most of our machinery to pay it off. So, pretty much all that's left is the stuff no one would buy. That limited what jobs we could take, and as a result, we kept losing more and more business. That's rough. But 
I really love this job. I love being here. My granddad, who opened this place, was a really skilled technician. He's been a constant inspiration to me, even long after he passed away. This place is all I have left of him, and I don't want to lose it. My dad may have thrown in the towel, but that doesn't mean I can't keep trying. I think I might be at my limit, though. I guess we're just in a time where we're not needed anymore. Me or this shop. Yeah, well, I don't know about all that, but look at it this way. You've been doing the best you possibly can, and maybe you're at rock bottom right now, but that doesn't mean you won't make it out eventually, right? Huh? I mean, maybe it ain't all that convincing coming from a guy who just barely got out of being homeless. But at the very least, I plan to keep coming back here to have you work on shit for me. Don't forget that, alright? You've got a lot of spirit. Don't see that too much anymore. What's your name? Ichiban Kasuga. All right, Kasuga-san. If you really mean that, then you're welcome anytime. Whether it's a bat or something else, I'll make it better than new. But this time's the only free one, okay? Yeah, sure. I'll be counting on you, Sumi Rechan. Got it. Going in! 
いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。<笑>